Questioned in the House of Commons about the income tax department surveys at BBC's India offices after the release of a documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the UK government has defended its national broadcaster. BBC, we fund the BBC. We think the BBC World Service is vitally important. That freedom, which we believe is vitally important, and that freedom is key. We want to be able to uh, communicate the importance of that with our, 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 our friends across the world, including the government in India. To energy this, security and as Dr. Jay Shankar. India's foreign no, minister uh, has said the I'm timing of the BBC of, documentary guy, is not accidental, trades, adding that so it's politics I'm, I'm by another means. I don't know if you election season has started in India and Delhi or not, but for sure it has started in London and New York. What is it we are debating? We are not debating just a documentary or a speech that somebody gave in a European city or a, you know, a, New York. a, a newspaper uh, edit somewhere. We are debating hmm. actually politics which is being conducted ostensibly as media as so you know you there is a phrase war by other means hmm. there is also think of it this is politics by another means. David Rutley without going into specifics said that this matter has been raised with the Indian government in the context of the larger set of issues that the UK and India discuss. Submarine in addition, UK's Conservative Party MP Julian Lewis office, has characterized the action as extremely worrying. Very, very firmly. While a Labour Party MP said the surveys were deeply worrying, regardless of the official narrative of why they occurred. True media freedoms, criticism cannot be shut down. India and the United Kingdom are the closest strategic allies, linked by extremely close family links, education, business and defence ties. This relationship is key for both countries and it remains to be seen if India's attack on the BBC will cause any serious diplomatic fallout. For now, the British reactions are relatively muted, with no public statements being made by the British High Commission in New Delhi. Parmeshwar Bhava for NDTV.